Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about Republican math. Trump math. Because it is apparently different than everybody else's math. Okay, so there's a headline. It started going around last night. And it says that almost half of Republicans would vote Trump third party in 2024. When you say it like that, wow, that sounds like he still has a whole lot of power, doesn't it? Problem is, that's not actually what the survey said. A better way, a more accurate way to say that would be that less than half of the people who voted for him in November, which was actually what was surveyed, still support him. If they supported him, if they supported his policies, if he still had the hold that he did on people, they wouldn't care what party it was. Less than half of people who voted for him in November still support him. That's what that survey actually shows. And I would like to point out that 100% of the people who voted for him in November was just enough to lose the election. Less than that will certainly lose the election. However, for whatever reason, the Republican Party isn't seeing it this way. They also aren't seeing that that 100% number comes from people who voted in November, which is before January particularly January 6th, and a whole lot of people saw Trump's mask slip just a little too far that day, and they wouldn't vote for him third party or Republican. Aside from that, many of Trump's most ardent supporters are aging. They may not be voting for anybody in 2024. However, the Republican Party is, is, for whatever weird reason, reading this as a sign of Trump's strength, of his longevity. And that's fine. You can continue to cower, and you'll end up with one of two things happening. Either he will be your nominee in 2024, and the Republican Party will again lose. They will again lose. Because nobody is going to go from being anti-Trump to being pro-Trump. That's not going to happen. However, as more things come out, it's kind of likely that more people go from being pro-Trump to being anti-Trump. So that's pretty much a guaranteed loss. Or they continue to treat him as though he has power and continue to cater to his whims, continue to give him speaking gigs, and come 2024, if he doesn't get the nomination, he runs third party because they convinced him that he has power, in which case he splits their vote and they lose again. The Republican Party's only chance to save itself, its only chance for any kind of victory anytime soon, is to begin the process of detrumpification. Getting rid of his rhetoric, getting rid of those who enabled him, and turning their backs on everything that he stood for. That's their only chance. And that's probably not going to get him anything in 2024. Because it's going to take a while. Because they don't have any initiative and they will just wait it out rather than actively condemning his behavior, his rhetoric, and his policies. I understand that the Republican Party really likes to defund education. I understand that it likes to demonize education, doesn't like intellectuals. But I would strongly suggest that those who are making policy decisions and determining who has power and who has strength get themselves a math tutor. 
anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.